Hi guys, um, I'm going to teach you now um, the, the the tuning of Falling in Love and the correct chords uh, in in how we wrote it. So here we have the normal tuning of, a, of any regular guitar. And I'm going to tune it now to the Falling in Love tuning. So we want to drop the E down. D. We'll leave that as an A. Here we go to an E. That's an F. That's an A, and we we'll leave that as an E. So when you strum it, it should sound nice as, as just a chord. There you go, it's like a sus chord thing. Now these are different shapes to what um, any regular um, tuning would be. Um, I've not a clue what chords they are and what positions are which, but I'll show you the shapes in what I do. So the start of falling in love is sort of uh, your second finger on the third fret. What would be the G string? So it's the third string in, and then your finger on the next fret, next string down, just there. And what we do is the riff is I sometimes you can use your third finger or your little finger. I sometimes use my little finger for the for the uh, opening of the track. Then all we do is if you are doing it with your third finger, you can drop the little finger on to do the riff. Uh, all on the same string. All I'm doing is those three fingers are on the same string and they're there just to cover the riff. And then this second finger is just on the next string above. And it should all sound good, so. So you're ending up with none of your riff fingers on a string. So I'll do that again for you slowly. All we do for the next chord is drop the two fingers. I use th um, my third, my third finger and my little finger just for the top two strings, and it's the fourth fret. That's it. And the next chord is you drop these two fingers up a fret and down a string uh, and then add the second finger to the B string, which would be a B string in normal tuning. So now you're up at the fifth fret. And then the fourth chord in this sequence is all the way down to the second fret, my second finger and my third finger. I'm missing out a string there, but it's on the same fret. So all together, you've got And what makes this last chord nice is sometimes I put my third finger on the string down, which gives it this the sort of resolves the chord a bit. So in rhythm, the chords are... So that's that, uh, roughly, how Falling In Love goes. Uh, the chorus chords are one finger, and then bring the top finger on, to the bass. And then what you can do here is go to um, one of the chords that we've already covered. 
which is that one and then we drop it down to we've already covered that chord and we've already covered this one so there's two new chords in the chorus the rest we already know so the chorus is That's basically it.